Hi, Nancy here, and today I want to show you how to do a one color Italian cast on. And this Brio switch that I have before me uh, has that cast on in addition to the Italian bind off. And you can see it sets up in knit and pearl, and it has a nice rolled edge that's evenly matched on both sides. Great for brioche, it's great for ribbing, lots of other things you can use it for. And I'm going to show you how it's done. Okay, you start with your yarn, of course. And the one thing with this is that you want to treat it like long tail cast on in that you need to estimate adequate tail for the amount of stitches you wish to cast on. The working yarn is away from you, and in this case, we're just going to take it right out of camera range, but it's away from you. The tail yarn is closest to you. You use your left hand. The working yarn will be over your index finger, and the tail yarn will be over your thumb. With your right hand, put the needle underneath the yarn that's running between your thumb and finger. And this actually is your first stitch. This is your knit stitch, believe it or not. We're now going to do a purl stitch. And I'm going to pull it back, take the needle away from me, go under both threads, grab the thumb yarn, and bring it up. Okay? There's your little purl bar. Now we're going to do a knit stitch. Bring it toward me, up the middle, grab the yarn around your finger, back up to center. We'll call this neutral. There's your knit stitch. To do the purl away under both yarns, grab the thumb yarn, come back up to neutral. Do you see how I pull down on that other one just so I can flip that stitch around? It doesn't always work well, but that's how you need to do it. Okay, we'll do another knit towards me, underneath the thumb, grab the finger yarn, back up to neutral. The knit is easier. You can obviously see that. We're going to do another purl away, underneath, grab the thumb yarn, back up to neutral. Now, one thing, be sure you don't hold these threads too tight in the palm of your hand. You want it to, fr to move freely, otherwise your cast on is going to get way too tight. So we're going to do one more knit, under, grab the yarn around your finger, back up to neutral. Now, if I let go of this and say I'm done, it's all going to fall off. So we need to do something special with the last stitch in order to get it to hold. If you look here, this one piece of the working yarn is coming underneath the tail yarn. Do you see where it is? It's, it's catching underneath, and that's important. You need that to happen for that to, to catch the last stitch and the one next to it. So in order to make my final stitch, which in this case, because this is a purl, or a knit, excuse me, I want it to be a purl. So what I'm going to do is take my thumb, and I'm going to push the yarn away from me, and I'm going to do a backward loop, and I'm going to catch it from behind, and pull it tight. So I'm going to take it off and do that one more time for you. Okay, so I'm holding this with my right hand. This is the tail yarn. And then I'm going to bring this up with my thumb, and I'm just going to grab it and go from behind, pull it tight. And there you have knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, and a purl. And you're ready to go. That's how you do the uh, one color Italian cast on. Thank you.